so welcome to my channel once again so today's topic is on adenosine so let's discuss about this drug what its action uses contraindications doses how to administer it and what all form it is so come on without wasting the time let's get into the video so adenosine the function of class is it is anti dyserythemic drug so action of that drug is its slow conduction through av node can interrupt reentry pathways through av node and can restore normal sinus rhythm in patient with paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia as you all guys know what happens in the supra ventricular tachycardia the waves of the heart rate in the ecg is like hip hip hurre decreases cardiac oxygen demand decreasing hypoxia coming to the uses it is used in paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia and one more thing which is something new to you all that is wolf parkinson white syndrome when this was new for me too but let's see uh, if i have any uh, notes regarding that this i will share it in the youtube coming to the next that is contraindication then thing is it is hypersensitivity second or third degree av node block and bradycardia next is dosage and route so if you want to convert the paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia to a sinus rhythm so let's discuss what how to give a drug like not how to give a drug like what is the dosage so in the adult it is lesser than a 50 uh, like uh, in adult if the patient's weight is lesser than 50 kg so iv bolus okay this adenosine is mostly given in the form of iv bolus so first 6 mg if you want to convert it to a normal sinus rhythm rhythm does not occur within 1 to 2 minute right so we need to give a second rapid dose also of 12 mg by iv bolus so it is in the like uh, you will get an ampule form in an ampule form so one ampule contain 3 mg per ml okay solution for injections so how to administer it what is the role like in uh, if the patient has came and the patient is having supraventricular tachycardia and doctor has told you to administer it so you might be confused so just view my video so it will just clear your doubt without diluting in an undiluted form give 6 mg or less by rapid injection over 1 to 6 second if you using an iv line as you all are a medical student so you might be aware about the iv line so use the port near the insertion site flush with ns to 20 ml then elevate the arm because this medicine is very strong so you need to elevate the arm coming to the main that is the side effects guys if you are a nurse if you are a medical students uh, you must know you must know the side effect of the drug any drug because side effect is something like you may think it is very it is not normal but if uh, you are giving an adenosine this all side effect which is very normal so you should know it like in cns so in cns like the patient will have a light headedness dizziness harm tingling numbness headache and in cv there will be like cardiovascular system there will be chest pain palpitation hypotension ventricular dyserythmias atrial fibrillation coming to the gi part that is gastrointestinal part your patient may feel nausea metallic taste will be present to the patient if you are giving anything the patient will tell i am feeling like a metallic taste then coming to the next that that is respiratory 
system what all side effect will be seen in the respiratory part so the patient will show with like dyspnea chest pressure hyperventilation bronchospasm now coming to the part that is the second last part that is bronchokinetic pharmacokinetic sorry for that mistake cleared from plasma in less than 30 second half life of this drug is 10 second the nursing consideration as i always told to you there is a 10 rights for medication we need to follow that and assess the vital signs so basically vital roles plays a main role hip hip role if you are monitoring the vital signs a slight change in that can just save your patient hip hip thanks a lot for watching this video if you like my video please like share comment below if you have any doubt comment it below and if i know the answer i will put it down thanks and let's see in next video bye